What's up, y'all? This is Mel and Keisha. Back with another eating chat. I'm Mel. I'm Keisha. And this is a walk in the fat woman's shoes. Welcome back, MK Saints. Welcome visitors and passing throughs. Tonight's eating chat, we got meatball pool boys. We drinking on that good old age too old. Big Gert is not here, but she will do what? Nothing. Save you in a crisis. Yes, she will. Yes, she will. She I will. I didn't get a big girl, a big soul, a big baby, or even a male baby. We'll be in the description box below. So you're going to click the link. You're going to get yourself one. You're going to get yourself one. Go on, do it. Ready? Amen. Amen. So what's going on with you guys tonight? Let us know what y'all eating and if y'all eating with us. Also, let us know what's going on. Y'all nigga the woods. How do you want to train you? What y'all do today? Y'all know what I'm nosy. I'm nosy. Y'all know I'm nosy. I need the knife. Thank you. So, y'all know Big Eric won't do nothing for y'all, don't y'all? Y'all know girl. all she will do. The way you violated and did not even talk about Big Girl last night. Who? The way you violated and you didn't <coughs> talk about Girl last Who night. Is that? You didn't have her in the intro last night, Big Girl. For what? Uh. Cause she's a part of this. Excuse me, ma'am. Okay, this is what it looks like. I don't know. Can y'all see that? That look good. Oh, look, oh, look at that. Baby. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah. You don't think I won't come on? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There you go. First, you delay me talking about this bull group and. Yeah, then, don't play don't. Then you keep the knife. Don't play with dirt like that. I, I, I don't understand why you Oh why you my play. God. Do you see that? Mm. Mm. Look, mm. I press my sandwich mm. down and look at all that on my plate. This is going to be messy. I think I might mm. need a towel. I don't like the... Mm -hmm. Oh. This is nothing. Mm -hmm. Y'all just me. I talk that crap about you. In the messy shirt, mm -hmm. but I don't I don't like my clothes to get dirty either because then I gotta use that spot cleaner and uh, a toothbrush and go ahead on and mm -hmm. throw it in the wall. Excuse me, y'all. Yes, I'm sorry. Really? Go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, No, talk no. about your spot cleaning and all that. Go ahead. My bad, I was interrupting you. You go ahead. No, no, babe. I'm used to it. You go ahead on. You're used to it? Yes, I'm very used to I've it. I've been dealing with it for over seven years on here. Boom. Don't, don't try. Fuck it. Don't try it. Anyway, anyway y'all. Meatball. Forget all that cheese. That's. Man, I ain't going to say good, I don't man. have no cheese on there. But I'm, I'm going to be nicer to y'all than mm -hmm. Keisha was. On here. Of course, you know, I had to put the mayonnaise on my bread. Then I put the provolone cheese, some tomatoes, mm -hmm. and some banana peppers. Oh. Then I put my meatballs, and I put a little more cheese on top. Mm -hmm. See, look at that. I'm going to have to hunt this. Mm -hmm. So, go ahead and talk about whatever you were going to talk about. Are you talking about yesterday? Like, why you couldn't be in the video? Y'all wasn't feeling good. Yesterday, they already messed over us huh. again. Yesterday. You saying that? But, um, I watched the video. I heard what you said. Huh? I heard what you said. What? You want me to do the things you want to do, but you don't want to do nothing I want to do. You don't want to go to the casino or the mall. I don't mind going to the mall because there's a food court and there's a Nike store there. So I don't mind going to the mall. We might end up having to pay for extra baggage coming back. Maybe. That's why I I just want one pair of tennis. That's all. You trying to bring just your big bag, right? But and that's all I'm bringing. But we're going to need another bag for shopping. You, it's just us, you know that, right? Yeah. Why are you trying to take all them big bags? But one, you know I don't throw away my shoe boxes. And if I buy a pair of shoes, they're going to be in the get box. You shit shipped to, to the house. 
Huh? Get a ship, bitch. What? You like y'all can ship this? <laughs> it's the outlet mall. I know. Mm. <coughs> but what I will do is I'll just go on Nike.com and see if they have it and have it ship it. But I'm not gonna get it at the outlet price. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. I ain't been into this yet because you scared. Uh, I uh, this is I nothing. wanna eat, but I ain't really hungry now. You know, I ain't eating nothing yesterday. This is my first time eating. From yesterday, from the day before yesterday, when y'all saw us with the ham and cheese, this is. Guess what? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. But I think it's just bread is messing with my throat. It's just yeah. itchy, you know? It's making it rough. Forgive me talking. Good. Their marinara sauce is crap. No wonder it's so cheap. I should have knew something was up. What that was? A dollar fifty nine, two fifty nine, something no. like that. is killing my bread. Oh. It's so good. It made me want to dance, and then I'm listening to music too, so you know, you know. Man. And, uh, we went to the store, you know, we get the rest of the stuff. Five, seven days of poor boy. And they didn't have what we went for. Right. And I was like, oh. Right. Now what we gonna do? If I have to order it and pay this exuberant price, I don't care. I'll, I'll just get it. Cause I mean, seven days of poor boy is not seven days of poor boy without the finale poor boy you're that's an american i mean this poor boy is a new orleans classic you hear me i ain't gonna say what it is because you know we want the finale to be a finale but you know it, it's a new orleans classic if everywhere else has poor boys of everything else i ain't haven't seen any poor boys like that one you know right. what i'm saying that is an original New Orleans classic, you hear me? And matter of fact. Why didn't you just call out the store? I know, right? I will. I'll do it in the morning. Knowing uh full well, yeah, I'm gonna have to do it in the morning because I mean, once we get picked up some more, we we probably don't be back till about nine, ten o'clock. Fucking with dark. She, I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I heard her tell y'all, you know, about what they did us yesterday. But I knew it. I I knew when I saw how that time was jumping back and forth and just constantly going back and back. I knew exactly. Right hand Nicole, I knew exactly who it was from then because I know I know this person. 
They always do that with us. I don't know what the beef is with us. But oh, you said you didn't like him. So what? He don't like him. The fuck? I don't, I mean, look. If every time you get, you pick up people, you have a bad attitude. And people, we speak to you. Hey, how you doing? How you day going? You. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I don't like it. you. Yeah, you hear me? I know. I say, how you doing? I know you're like, how you doing today? Yeah. Mm. I'm like, see? That's why I don't like this bitch. <laughs> Everybody else be like, you know, talking to us. And like, some people that's still here, you know, like, man, what's going on, man? I am so glad, you know, y'all still riding with us, whatever, however. This is that another man. Like, yesterday, no, today, we went, um. To the yesterday. Yeah, we went to Fiesta, and we had two different rides to go to the same place. They sent her a damn van and sent me a bus. But they sent me the bus that we bought, well, as they would call it, fitting. We fit on the little bus, too. And I'm like, why y'all keep playing that game? Why are y'all, I feel like y'all discriminating against us because we were on the small bus. We went to Walmart on the small bus, and we went to Target on the small bus. We went home on the small bus. And we went home on the small bus with no problem. No problem at all. What it is was, y'all dick of a driver, fake-ass Cam Newton-looking motherfucker. Yeah, that's what he looked like, a fake-ass Cam Newton. Anyway. You said that because of them braids, huh? No, he did. You ain't seen him. He looked like a cross between Maxwell and Cam Newton. And I'm just going to go and say Cam Newton because he could never. He could never. If he was going for Maxwell, he could never. Could never. Fake ass Cam Newton, motherfucker. But anyway, I digress. He didn't want, look, they had a walker, right? Oh, we, now we telling him what to do. Just put the walker mm-hmm. up. I'm sorry, go ahead. You know I told him this year yesterday? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. But, yo, I'm saying that day worked on my nerves. And then I'm sick. I'm telling him. I said, yo, I do not feel good. I am getting sick. I was already feeling bad. I was already hunched over on that, on that bus because I was feeling so bad and shit. And them humps. Was not helping, and my stomach was like it was rolling. You remember? I'm like, uh, uh-uh, uh, 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 Then, when we did get picked up, I don't think she told y'all that because she had, I don't know, if he had to piss her off for the night because she just loved me. I was getting off the bus, and he did not put my seat and put the thing all the way down for me, right? I damn near flipped over getting out of the guy, getting off the bus. No. Off the low, off the ramp. I had to use the bathroom. Oh, well, I'm getting off the ramp and I almost flipped over. My bag went flying. It went flying, y'all. Excuse me, the girl, the, the arm ass was moving. I, my bag went flying, and I had to, you know, I had to like kind of jump off my chair to brace myself. Otherwise, I'd have fell flat on my damn face. You know, I'd have flipped over and hit my face on the concrete. Because he didn't put my thing. I don't know why. I don't know what what his beef is with us. You don't like him. So what? You that ain't his job. Ju- I mean, but his ju- look, look, look. I told his partner that. Who is his partner? Whoever the dude was, I told that to. He went hurry up and told him because he was like, "Where's the one is Keisha?" I'm like, "Me." Oh, so you don't like me? I know. Cause you mean. And you don't talk to nobody. Then when he found out who I was or whatever, then he started talking to us. He ain't talk too much then. He ain't, too, yeah, he ain't talk too much then, but just, just the shit he was talking about, I didn't want to hear that shit. But yeah, I was <laughs> but I'm like, damn. But I knew, I knew, I knew in my heart, in my soul. That girl said, she started asking him, are, are you going with the other company? Are you going with Lee? Or you staying with this company? <laughs> I, I mean, could, right? I mean, no, hammers because baby, look, he just—I don't know. It don't matter whether I like you or not. I'm not about to treat you bad. You know, I'm not about to treat you bad. Look, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people you don't like. 
but you probably do treat him bad. Just because, I mean, yeah, he, he just mean, he, he just, he just, I don't know. I'm not about to treat you bad because I don't like you, but why would I? But I am going to say I don't like you because of the way you treat people. We was on a bus and he treated this old lady bad. Remember when he was bringing that old lady to dialysis? You remember when she was trying to get off the bus and she asked him for help? He gonna talk about, oh, I, we're not supposed to touch you guys. This lady is coming off the steps. She need your help. This lady is old. Come on, man. Fuck you mean? You can't touch, you can't help this woman. You can't just grab her hand and help her come down them steps. Oh, uh -uh. Yeah, on her own and help him like, what kind of, woo? Who does shit like that to people? Bitch, remember, you got to get old, you heard me? You don't treat your elders like that. Ricky already got. He, bitch, he's like 57, 58 years old. Yeah. But that woman was older than him, bitch. That old lady was older than him. And that, that, that worked out. Mmm. That dad worked on my nerves so bad. How how you how you treat your elders like that? You know what I'm saying? That's your elders, bitch. These people. Mm. Your elder, you have to get old. You have to get old, and you're going to want somebody to help your ass when Stop. you get old. He treated his mama like that. That's why she talk about him like a dog. <laughs> she do. she do like this siren motherfucker. She called him a sorry ass motherfucker. I'm like, oh lord. They always she me talking girl, about him. So sorry. <laughs> Cause we did bring his mama home once. I still got. I thought I was gonna be able to go in. I still got a little room I could eat. I ain't eat nothing but. He might not like that you say he got a big buffalo ass. Ain't my fault you got an ass like a woman. And then he told me looking at his ass one day. Oh, I mean, shit. <laughs> he was bent over, putting the other things on my thing, and I was looking at his ass, right? And he looked at me. I went, mean, oh. Now I tried to play it off a bit. It ain't my fault. For the longest, I thought he was a trans man. Right. I'm so, still wondering that though. The boy was saying he kind of fine. He built like a woman. I'm telling y'all, right here in the go, you look at him from the back, you think that's a woman. But you think he's a big booty woman. No, no, I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't be no. He don't. He ain't nobody I would want to date. His body is not. No. He not nobody I wouldn't want. I want to date. Only I'm the man. He got one thumb in his butt. Cause his personality shit. Oh, and his tennis shoes. That mug be wearing some fly ass mm -hmm. shoes. We do. He ready to do. His tennis shoes and his booty. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing he got going for him. Yeah, I should have put some black eyes on here. That would have been good. Mine was just plain with just mayonnaise, meatballs, yeah, cheese, yeah. and sauce. That's it. Because that's, because like when mm -hmm. I would get my meatball sub from uh, Subway, when I would get them, I would actually have spinach, black olives, mayonnaise, extra mayonnaise on it. No, no. This oh, time, if I get a like, sub. And sometimes them, uh, what them things is? Banana peppers. If I get a, a meatball sub from Subway, I need the mayonnaise, I need some pepper jack cheese, I need lettuce, tomatoes, black eyes. Oh, well, I have to call the other company. Bell oh, peppers. Huh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm calling another store in the morning. Remind me, I ain't paying that much. For all that, you could have got the big bucket. Right. Only thing is, mm, damn. I was about to give it away. Mm -mm, I can't do it. I'm full. 
Yeah. I'm saying. This is what I got left, y'all. I told you. That's why I don't like these white plates. They be a good concept. Yeah, I got a. But I got a ham. See the food and some bread. Oh. Uh, I ate the meatballs out my bread. I got a fork. Can't do it. And a little piece. I, yeah, I think I'm done. Because if I keep going. I've been nauseous all day, and I think if I keep going, oh, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. <laughs> no, I ain't been nauseous all day or nothing like that, but I've been nauseous since yesterday. More power to you. That's why I couldn't do the video, my bad, y'all. I know, I know, y'all probably was looking for me, you know. And I'm sorry. I had to beat her up on the toilet to help her. <laughs> that Literally. is somewhat true. Somewhat true. Literally, y'all. She ain't had to beat me up like that. Nah, nah. We don't even get down like that one. I did but beat you up on the toilet. I told no, you. Let no, me take no. your focus away. And you can. And it, it will be there for you. All you was doing was pushing me back. And I told you I could not. And what I you could told not. Me, don't touch me. Just leave me be. I could barely get it out. I was like. I'm I'm saying don't touch me. She can read my damn lips. She knew she could read my lips, but she still push me. Go back like this. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, bitch. I'm I'm crying. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, mm, I don't know. I'm I'm going to my doctor and see if I have uh, what like is I it? Told you. What they call that? Obstructive bowels. That's what it's called. I think that's what it's. It could be obstructed bowels because this is like the second fucking time. Well, not in a month. Like back to back, not back to back too much, but like within what two weeks, three weeks. This is like this. This is the second time between two damn three weeks that I've been, you know, stopped up. Now I'm already dealing with back pain, and then That's I get stopped up on that too. And she had to push me back. I could not go back out. That's cause you play with toys. I couldn't. You you play with uh baby shit. You might as well have went to the store and brought some baby laxatives. See, stool softeners they bullshit. You need a real laxative to get up in there and go ah ah. You know, just just run it on through. You know. What's it? Boy, the conversation <laughs> we be having after we eat. What if people still eat? It ain't like I say this meatball look like a turd. It ain't like I say that. All right then. I just said it, but it just right. was we family. It was not coming out, y'all. And she was pushing me back like that. She was like, "Sit." Oh, I'm sorry. Man. She was like, "Get back. Sit down right there." Stop. She was like, "What? Ha!" Why she still pushing me out? I can't. I can't. It don't want come out. It don't want come out. But when they did, I felt a little better. My back and stuff was still hurting because my back still hurts. You know, it's like that ain't don't you know? Cause I got constipated on top of having back pain. Then once you know, I'm I'm back regular now. Oh, you regular now? Yeah, I'm back regular. You sure? Yeah. Cause I was gonna slip you some side tree. <laughs> Once I'm back regular now, you know, yeah, my back still drink. hurting. I got up and I just, I got up today and I, I know just you heard me. Are you what? ignoring me? What? You don't want the side tray? Fuck no. Who wants that? They don't look. Then when I got up today, all around my stomach, all around here was just, it just felt so weak. It felt so weak. I could barely get out the bed. My sugar had already. Was trying to take a bitch out five something this morning. My sugar had then I don't know why, but when I don't eat, my sugar drops real, real low. My sugar had then dropped to 54. 54. And I was able to get out of screen. I was doing this to her. She didn't move, so I was like, nah, I don't want to scare. But I screamed and I called Terrell. I told him, I said, bro, you wasn't going to scare me. You was going to fuck around and get jabbed. I was doing like this to her, right? And I you. guess she probably she probably would have thought I'm just playing with her, right? But I was so weak. 
When I was able to get out that screen, I called Terrell. Terrell, hurry up. He came up and then he's like, yo, I said, bro. Bro. That's all I can say. He got, he went in the refrigerator. Because, yeah, I keep a cold drink on hand. You hear me? Just so, you know. Because I'm, I'm about to tell y'all not them tablets. That shit don't work. They do not work. Don't. Not for no How 54. many do you take? When it's down like in the 60s and stuff, and like when it hits 60, I take two, three of them, and they still don't bring my shit up. But I will pop a cold drink. Well, real why quick. didn't you take the shot? What shot? There's a shot in the bathroom. Oh, I didn't know you had a shot. There's a glucose shot in the bathroom. Oh, okay, well, I'm about to try that. But There's anyway, two actually. Anyway. They're called emergencies. Uh, did, did you just hear me say I did not know? Now I know. There's a, a berry. In the urn. Oh, okay. Now I know. Now I know. But anyway, like I said, I keep a cold drink on hand just in case my sugar drop. But for some reason, I, well, I do know the reason. I didn't eat. So my sugar what dropped to 54. Boy, he was like, he Would say, you shut up and let me tell you? I'm trying to tell my story, boy. What you should have did was got the peanut butter in a spoon and went to chuck it. Y'all was not about to Sarah me, bitch. <laughs> Y'all was not. That's what they used to do, Sarah, when her sugar was fucking dry. They give a peanut butter. They give an orange juice. They put sugar on top of that fucking peanut butter. You know why, right? So they bring her back. No. No. Here's why. But it would bring her back, though. Well, yeah, of course it's going to bring her back, but here's why. I was talking to uh, one of them nurses at uh, uh, a class or some shit like that. She said, uh, when your sugar is high or whatever, whatever, and it just drops like plummet, she said, get your shit together, <laughs> but eat protein. So that's why I got peanut butter. But see, mine wasn't even high. It you was still 90. need to take protein. Yeah, it was 90. I didn't think, I did not think it would have dropped like that. I really did. That man, Terrell was giving me that cold drink. He said, can you hold it? You I said like that. Man, I couldn't hold it. He had to, he, you know, he had to give it to, you know, you know, give it to me. I was like, man, when it did start working or whatever, and I was able to really talk to him, I said, thank you. I said, thank you, because I don't know what, what the hell happened. Them, and then this morning, I'm like, I don't know what happened, bitch. You ain't eat, bitch. What the them, hell? I don't, you do that. I don't trust them CGMs. Maybe you need to put it in a different place. Maybe you need to put it up on your own. Yeah, it's right too. Maybe you need to put it up on your own instead of your stomach. Yeah. I'm because... Mug got a constantly okay. Get the sugar test and let's see what it really is. But normally it beats what it is. Keisha, I didn't have to calibrate your machine three, four times. Yeah, but normally when I do that, when I think my shit low, it be what it is. You calibrated it three, four times. Man, that's it. Out of all the time, my sugar then went low like that. You know what you calibrated for, right? To bring it to what it is, to what it really is. All right then. So. Oh my God! I had the I now I understand what Alonzo saying. This bitch trying to play me like I'm dumb. <laughs> oh uh, wow! Wow! I, I really understand what my baby week. said. I really. Oh my God! I got to apologize to my baby. Oh my God! Hey, we were oh talking about God. Chicago, and I told you that. I said now I see what Alonzo means about that. Oh, Nanny, you think I'm dumb? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, man. cuz, come on now. Look at you. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> but I don't be doing it so casually. I be like, look at you, baby. You know, because I'm proud of him and stuff. But you be like, Nanny, you saying that like I'm dumb. You know, I'm like, you no. be surprised as well. So, I do. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> That's why he <laughs> said that. You know, because, you know, he be having a whole shit out of worried ass. And that's what I had yesterday, y'all. I swear to God, I just... Lord. I, you know, the last time I experienced blood back there, I was, she brought me, I had, uh, excuse me, y'all, TMI. I had a hemorrhoid. 
And I was going around telling everybody, everybody has I love hemorrhoids. Them. Yeah, but I'm saying I was going around telling everybody I love you. If I don't come back from from the hospital, just know I love you. I'm telling every fucking body now I love them and everything, you know. Mama love y'all. You know, if I don't come back from the hospital, just know I love y'all, you know. Like, bitch. I, Cause I ain't gonna lie, the last time I, first time I ever experienced that, I found out I had a hemorrhoid. But I thought I was about to die. You know, I ain't never, I ain't never, ex, you know, experienced bleeding from back there and then like that. I thought I was about to die. You know, I thought that was, she was bringing me to the hospital so I can go to the upper room. You know. So you ain't have hemorrhoids with your baby? No. Hmm. Didn't experience hemorrhoids until that day. I called myself laxative and all. Falling behind her sister. Mm-hmm. Oh. Motherfucker told me that <laughs> that's the shit she do. I'm like, <coughs> I'm like, can it work? She was like, yeah, it work. I don't know if this motherfucker just set me up for the okie doke or what. Cause I'm telling y'all, that shit had me fucking thinking I was about to die. You saying that shit. You know that calling cleanse you talking about you won't take? She do that every other month. <laughs> what is wrong with her? Man, I look, y'all, it got to the point I want to buy this shit called colon cleanse. It's a seven of uh, seven to fifteen day colon cleanse, right? This woman, you know, like when you read the reviews, because I ain't about to buy no shit like that without reading the reviews, right? This woman said, I'm telling y'all, when you use this, expect not to go anywhere for two days, three days at the most. Well, Please. I got the one my she sister. She said that shit is real room. strong. Mm-hmm. I have not took it. You're not gonna take it? I doubt I will. But she said My sister said all kind of shit was in that toilet. And I don't think I'm ready for that. <laughs> oh wow. She said that shit is so strong it will make your stomach hurt so bad. I don't need nothing to make my stomach hurt. I have back and pain that make my stomach hurt. Here's why I think she's addicted to them. She said the first time she ever took it. Cause she amazed by what she see? No. She said the first time she ever did it, there were actual fucking worms in the toilet. People really have worms in their body? Yeah. I said, bitch, how you get worms? And you know what? I don't even want worms. I just always thought that people would be like, oh, that old man gonna give you worms. You know, shit like that. I just thought that was just something that people say, you know? Just something people say. Because I've been hearing that shit since I was a little fucking girl. You hear me? Fuck it with that old man. How old man gonna give you worms? I don't know, bitch. Fuck it with that old man. He gonna give you worms if you have sex with him, you know? I never understood that shit. I just was out here. But, you know, I'm like... And I ain't gonna lie, I was, I, I was stupid, but like, he really can give you worms? Is he gonna give it to you, you know what I mean? How he gonna give it to you? You know, how will he give it to you in a box? I did not know that, you know, I ain't know all that shit. I'm telling y'all, I, I, I thought some dumb shit growing up, for real, for real. Okay, I just too. thought that, I just really thought that he would give it to her in a box or some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Like a gift. You know, he and on that note, I'm gonna say good night to you, good people. But I'm, I'm saying, y'all, y'all, y'all know Keisha crazy. Y'all know I'm fucking crazy. But I have things to do. But like, even so, yeah, you. Right. I need to do my hair. Yeah, my I son already packed my letter, So I need to answer him. Right. And uh, I already packed y'all my uh my stuff right there. Oh, when that's cute. Uh, that's cute. I should have showed y'all my Timu thing. So the letter he my sent luggage. me. Was he wrote it October first? He got my letter September something though, and uh, so I'm gonna have to write him back. And since I'm writing him, I might as well go ahead on and write my cousin too. But, but I have to go print pictures. I would send one to my cousin, but then he gonna run to his daddy. Oh, you know. Cause it's something me a picture of you and then it's gonna be hey you told me you was giving that to your boy why you gave it to my boy you know it's just all kind of shit so i'm just not gonna do that i'm just gonna uh, like some, do you mind sending? do you mind you sending it look when we start talking Basically, about his son him to get it you know he just said to him when we start talking about his son 
I just be like. Oh, uh, you know, I know already packed my clothes. I got one more outfit and my shoes that I'm taking with me. We don't leave till almost a month. I don't care. I want to be prepared. So, uh, that's the suitcase you're taking, right? That one in my carry-on. I'm not taking all them suitcases. Okay, well. What do I look like? I'm going to put my coat in there with curious. I looked up the weather in Chicago. And I think it says 61. When we went outside this morning, it was 61. Yeah. So, we're going to see what it's like in a couple of more weeks. And by me feeling bad, well, I know when I'm feeling bad because I'm cold for everything, even when it's hot. And I was cold today when it started getting hot. I was cold. So, I'm like, mm 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 Man, we are beginning to meet new people as far as, yeah. you know, the, the transit drivers and whatnot, and uh, we have met this one dude. Oh my god, I am glad we met him. My favorite, he's my favorite. He's my favorite. His name is Morris. Oh, I love him. When I saw him, I went, All right, all right, because baby, look, he, he, he's one of us, he's one of us. But I, I love him, I love his attitude. I love, man, I'm telling you, he just, he exudes positivity. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want in your driver. I ain't going to lie, my driver, Manny, today, he's one of the old ones that stayed. My uh, my, uh, my friend, uh, Corian, he stayed. And, you know, I can't wait to get on the bus with him. But I'm, I'm just happy that, you know, I'm starting to see some people that, that stayed. With this new company that comes and pick us up. Um, but Morris, oh, that's my boo. Boo, that's my mo- that's that's my dude. That's my dude. Yeah, he, he yeah, that's my people. dude. I was like, wow. Is that because he wrote from where we from? That too. Yeah, that too. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, because it'd it be so refreshing to talk to people like you, you know, and stuff, you know, and you don't have to slow it down for people, you know what I'm saying? Y'all talking too fast, you know? And he still, he got the same attitude, the right, same right. dialect, the Boy, same he's, diction, right, the, uh, the right. same, the other you day, know, right, the other day he picked us up and she... And I think the car was trying to almost swipe them or whatever. He said, oh, you sorry, sap sucker. She was like, oh, Lord, it took me out. I ain't heard that in so long. For real, you don't hear stuff like that, you know? Right. It, man, I'm telling you. Yeah. yeah. Then the other day we had, <coughs> last week, before he even told me he was from New Orleans, I knew he was we from already New knew. Orleans. And, uh... Keisha was like, how you knew that? I said, let's just say he remind me of some people I knew back home. Yeah. That's why I knew he was from New Orleans. He looked like your friend. Who friend? Yours. Your friend. Keisha. Have you really seen him in the face? Oh, I don't know what he looked like, mm-hmm. but I, uh. How you don't know what he looked like? You be talking to him. I just know he's a dark skinned man with white hair. That's not Morris. No, not Morris. Oh. The other man. The one that couldn't stay in the lane. Oh, him. Mm-hmm. The one I say, I, I knew he was from the city before he told right, us. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. And you say, mm-hmm. yeah, how you knew that? I said, just something about him. Right. And, uh... <laughs> but, but Keisha, we need to go ahead on and say goodbye yeah. before Good night. this... This all right, y'all. All right, y'all. All right, so all right, come on, man. And, uh, and on that note, y'all, we hope y'all enjoyed this video. We love y'all. Y'all take care. Be blessed. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you for coming and watching and rocking with us. And until next time, we're going to plant you down and dig you later. Because I know y'all can pick up what we are putting out. You heard me? Peace, y'all. Peace, y'all. Y'all have a good one.